This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello everyone, welcome back to another video of our channel and in this video we will be taking a look on Google Docking, how we use Google Docking in bug bounties, how we are able to get bounties from it, how I got bounties in the last week from only using Google Docking and also in the last we will be trying to hunt from Google Docking and we have found some crazy things from it on the internet, we have to blur it, obviously we can't disclose that. So make sure to check it out. And before going into the video, I would like to announce few things. We got Advanced Bug Bounty Best 3. And in this course, we'll be learning everything from advanced techniques, from hidden bugs and all those things. We'll be learning the less popular bugs that can land you to the highest bounties. We'll be learning account takeovers and many more things. You can see all the contents here. And other than this contents, we'll be having live hunting every week. So make sure to check out the links in the description. For registration of this course, we accept encryptors and all the currencies you want. And we are having other courses like Bug Bounty Batch 10 and all that are registration has closed for it because it's been too late. The registration will be reopened in the next month. Now, we are having recorded courses, the reconnaissance, the business logic, the resource bundle, and the last one and the latest one, the resource, uh, the scary methodology. You will be learning the actual methodology of getting bounties from it. So make sure to check out all the links in the description and let's get into the video. So here you are on our computer screen now. So if you just talk about what is Google Docking. Then the docking simple means that you are just trying to use few specific keywords like inside, colon, titles, double quotes and multiple things like that to find something very specific on search engines. Now before trying to do this practically, I would like to mention few things. First of all, you know all the search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, DuckDuckGo, all of them are having different search results according to different keywords. So make sure when you're trying some sort of critical a uh, critical sort of uh, docs like trying to find some sort of bugs using docs then make sure to try all those keywords on multiple search engines and get multiple results now before going into it we need to see that we can use google docs in multiple things like we can use google docs for uh, finding the program we can use google docs for looking for bugs we can try to do google docs for uh, finding admin panels of hidden pages like multiple things so it is simply known as also a Google hacking database. If you just go on exploit DB, you will see that it is also mentioned as Google hacking database or Google docking. So here we are going to use few docs, but before the using the docs, I mentioned a link in the description, which is having a list of Google docs that I usually use when I'm using, when I'm doing hunting. So make sure to check all the docs that I usually use. And maybe in the upcoming video, we'll be taking a look on GitHub docs. So if you just go on sublime. I have the few docs here. Now let me go on Google, google.com. Here we are. Now, as you can see that we are having a doc rewards. We want rewards, submit vulnerability report. We want powered by bug crowd and powered by hacker one in the websites title or whatever, wherever it is. We just want that. So we got 25,600 results here and let me open two or three of them. So we got the doc here first of all then we got a uh, WP crabber here it is having the whole thing here as you can see that it must be having the reward or something like that submit it is having submit vulnerability report so we are on this page now let's try for the C trip, C trip or whatever it is so we are having the hacker on form here as you can see that powered by hacker one here it here the word is written here powered by hacker one and we got the file here to report bugs on paradigm or what is whatever it is then say trip as you can see that we are having here submit vulnerability report button here obviously that's why we are having this particular uh, page here now this demonstrates that uh, we are able to find programs using it you can also use some sort of in url responsible disclosure so we got around 1,72,000 results here and this contains in URL. So in the URL parameter, we need responsible disclosure written. And that's what we got here. As you guys can see that we got uh, multiple programs here. 
so let's open few of them ferrari.com we are having responsible disclosure in their url as according to the doc and here is the complete details then the case flow then pager duty right you can try these things now let's move to the next doc in title index of so in title we need index of which demonstrates the directory listing thing and we want to find db.sql file database.sql now let's see so yeah, as you can see that i got few files here let me open them the first one is having uh, sql.ppt uh, you can download this and open it i'm not going to open it because it might contain some sort of sensitive data now that's an ip 8085 port and i got db.sql now it might contain some sensitive data right it might be having some username passwords tables and all those things you can always check for it we got one more db.sql now as you can see that we got some sort of username and all those things but here i want to say that it can be a honey pot maybe it, or it can be a lab that i am trying to open okay now here we are having a db.sql folder whole folder here you can also check that columns constraints index and all those things you can use this docs i can't i can't use this docs for a long time because uh, usually if you have seen that i have to hide mo a lot of details in it because i got a lot of sensitive things there but you can definitely try this to find a lot of bugs there now rather than uh, trying for this uh, db.sql we can try to find multiple extension like .bkp.zip right something like www.zip all these types of docs you might find backup now i got some sort of url here an ip here triple w.zip or www.zip now usually this file is having a very great backup like seven days ago i was hunting on a program and i really found this file and in that file i was having the config files the whole database backup which is even having the config urls and like all the configuration files api keys and that was a real p1 and yeah if it was resolved till now i'll be showing the pews or checking the link in the description so make sure you check it out now this one is downloading let's wait for it so the file is downloaded here is the actual file let me open it and here you can see that i am yeah, technically able to access few things that is not supposed to be there in multiple ways so here i am having a database backup and index.html page if you guys can see that i have, i might have index.html page there then the components it might be having some sort of config files if we just try to write api equals to api equals to any file that contains this thing it will be showing me here and in that scenario you might be having a lot of api keys lot of serious information disclosure uh, regarding that so definitely you can take a look on it this sort of domains i am i have mentioned a lot of docs in the description you can definitely check it out for exactly this uh, database leaks and all those things so you can definitely check it out now that was a real actual bug find if for if it was a program you can definitely report that and get a very good bounty you even might get a high or critical severity for it so now let's take a look here we can also use this thing this doc uh, here i am just marking the site as .org so i want multiple orgs to find admin panel but yeah i can simply just be like the admin and name the site here like maybe sony or whatever it was i can try to find a lot of admin panels using it you can just simply click like that and you find admin.aspx a lot of admin panels here and this might help in having you this you can try sql injection and multiple things here so docs can also you uh, can be helpful for uh, i can say that broadening your scope right you got on more then let's take a one more look on this one in url so here i was just trying to use you know on wordpress one but you can try multiple things here i'm trying to access a wp content slash, slash, slash sites but yeah you can use it for multiple ways like ht access and multiple files you can really try to access them
now here i am trying to get the wp slash uploads so as you can see wp content minus uploads we need exactly slash uploads let's try if we can get some sort of things like that so here you can see that we are on the upload sections or uh exactly a directly listing of rxdx.in few more uh, wp uploads now this can contain a lot of sens sensitive data if there is a any sort of file which is not supposed to be there is present there right now that was a demonstration for few things but actually we are not going to do that or exactly that thing we need to perform this in a more advanced way so i have mentioned a site here which is usually known as ghdb or google hacking database you can simply write whatever you want here so suppose if you want um let's say you want some sort of xss okay so there will you are you are not actually finding anything because you need to ex, uh, you need to demonstrate your payload here so let me just say key equals to right so i want some sort of key i can try this key equals to or the key hyphen for it you can also just try for private key dot pm you can if you are able to get the private key dot pm you can get anyone's uh, maybe uh, cloud PC or maybe some sort of VPS using it. If you know the PM is used for the SSH connections, anyways, you can also try to find AWS secret key in in URL GitLab. So here I suppose the GitLab you can just change the GitLab with any of your URL, and you can just try to find your AWS secret key. So here you can just type your query in the quick search. You will get your desired uh, res uh, result, and you can try it, and you can modify that result for your own needs, and then you can try it. and you will get your bounty in 3 to 5 digits whatever you want but definitely you can use this quick search for it and after the quick search i have mentioned the link in the description you can definitely check it out and you will find a lot of uh docs that i usually use for it now these are the last two docs that i found from the ghdb you should definitely take a look on now here i am again mentioning the dot org rather than the whole site and the in title php my admin i will be showing the status of this bug i have got a very good response for it it's a very simple thing you just find the php my admin and add the slash setup behind it you might be able to access the setup file and by accessing the setup you are able to perform a whole setup menu on it so that is having a very great impact on it but yeah you can get the a uh, very good bounty for it when you are just trying to discover this file i'll be mentioning the exact trick and the talk i have used now in the last one if you are able to find any file which is having a java extension and in the text you are you are able to find this thing there is a high chances that you are able to perform the log forge on the particular website so these are the, these are the two docs that i have found from exploit db so make sure to check it out check out the links in the given in the description and that was so that was for the video thanks for watching like share subscribe and don't forget to check out the links given in the description and advanced best free courses are uh, up for registration so you can check it out and thanks for watching